For decades, rockets launched skyward, carrying dreams of exploration and innovation, yet every mission came at a steep price. Their costly boosters were discarded into the ocean after every flight, sinking to the depths, never to be used again. This made spaceflight prohibitively expensive, reserved for governments and the wealthiest organizations, until SpaceX challenged the status quo. Led by Elon Musk, SpaceX dared to ask, what if you could land and reuse a rocket's first stage, just like an airplane? The idea was met with skepticism and even ridicule from industry veterans and the media alike. Critics argued the extra weight and fuel needed for landing would ruin payload capacity, making the concept unworkable. Undeterred, SpaceX pressed on, enduring a series of fiery public failures as they attempted to land Falcon 9 boosters at sea. Each setback was broadcast for the world to see. Each explosion was a lesson, a data point, a step in the relentless pursuit of progress. Every setback brought SpaceX closer to success, fueling their determination to make reusability a reality. In December 2015, SpaceX finally achieved the impossible, landing a Falcon 9 booster upright on solid ground to the cheers of a stunned world. Just months later, they nailed a landing on a drone ship in the Atlantic, proving it could be done at sea as well. These milestones proved reusability was possible, upending the economics of spaceflight and inspiring a new generation of engineers. Suddenly, boosters could be flown again and again, slashing launch costs and making space more accessible than ever before. SpaceX quickly dominated the market, offering prices competitors couldn't match and setting new standards for reliability and efficiency. The synchronized landing of Falcon Heavy's twin boosters became an icon of modern spaceflight, a symbol of what was once thought impossible. Reusability became routine, with hundreds of successful landings and reflights, transforming the industry forever. This relentless innovation set the stage for SpaceX's next giant leap, Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft designed for Mars and beyond. The world was about to witness a new era in rocketry, where the impossible becomes routine and the stars are within reach. With Falcon 9's reusability mastered, SpaceX set its sights on Starship, a rocket of unprecedented scale and ambition. The lessons learned from Falcon 9's many landings and recoveries paved the way for this next leap, but Starship would demand even more innovation and daring. Starship isn't just bigger, it's designed to carry up to 100 people to Mars and back, and aims to be fully reusable, both the booster and the spacecraft itself. This vision could make interplanetary travel routine, not just a distant dream. The Super Heavy Booster, powered by over 30 Raptor engines, absolutely dwarfs Falcon 9 in size, power, and complexity. It's the most powerful rocket ever built, designed to lift Starship and its massive payloads beyond Earth. Landing such a massive vehicle requires extreme precision, far beyond anything attempted before. Every second counts, and the margin for error is razor thin. Unlike Falcon 9's landing legs, Starship's plan is to be caught by giant robotic arms, Mechazilla on a launch tower. This bold approach eliminates the need for heavy landing gear, saving weight for cargo and crew. The booster must return to its exact launch point, hovering between the tower's chopsticks for a split-second catch. The choreography between rocket and tower is a technological ballet, demanding flawless timing. Any error could be catastrophic for both rocket and ground infrastructure. A single miscalculation could destroy years of work in an instant. The Starship upper stage faces its own challenge, a dramatic belly flop re-entry through the atmosphere, then a last-second flip and a catch by Mechazilla. It's a maneuver never before attempted at this scale. This makes the entire system dependent on a single, complex tower. Every launch and landing hinges on Mechazilla's flawless operation. The risk is enormous. One failed landing could cripple the whole program, setting back progress by months or even years. To reduce the danger to their launch site and infrastructure, SpaceX needed a safer way to test these landings, far from the critical assets on land and with room to learn from failure. The Mechazilla Tower is the nerve center of Starship operations at Starbase, Texas. Towering above the launch site, it's a marvel of engineering, designed to catch and rapidly turn around the world's largest rocket. It's designed for rapid reusability, catch, restack, refuel, and launch again within hours. This ambitious approach aims to revolutionize spaceflight, making launches as routine as commercial flights. But this centralization creates a single point of failure. All the critical infrastructure is concentrated in one place, making it vulnerable to accidents. A missed landing could destroy both the booster and the tower, 
halting the program for months or even years, the consequences would ripple through every aspect of the project. SpaceX's history is filled with rapid unscheduled disassemblies, explosions that, while educational, are now too risky at this scale. Each failure at the pad could set back progress dramatically. With Super Heavy's immense size and power, the stakes are even higher. A single accident could wipe out years of work and millions in investment. The company couldn't risk its main launch site with every test. Protecting Starbase became a top priority for the future of the program. The solution? Move risky landings away from Starbase. By shifting dangerous tests off-site, SpaceX could safeguard its core infrastructure. Testing at a remote site would allow failures without catastrophic consequences. The ocean provides a natural buffer reducing the risk to people and property. This shift was essential to keep the Starship program moving forward. It allowed development to continue, even in the face of setbacks. SpaceX began searching for a safer offshore alternative. Floating platforms and barges became the new frontier for rocket recovery. The answer lay beyond the shoreline, where the vast ocean offered both space and safety for risky landings. The sea offered a new path, one that could protect Starbase enable bold experimentation, and keep the dream of rapid, reusable spaceflight alive. SpaceX's first thought was to scale up its Falcon 9 drone ships for Super Heavy, but the booster's sheer size and mass made this impractical. A mega drone ship would be costly, take years to build, and still struggle with ocean instability. Even with advanced stabilization, a barge couldn't provide the rock-solid platform needed for a precise catch. The engineering and expense were prohibitive. The drone ship concept, so successful for Falcon 9, simply didn't scale. SpaceX needed something bigger, more stable, and available now. The solution would come from an entirely different industry. The answer came from the oil and gas world semi-submersible oil rigs. These massive platforms are engineered for stability in rough seas and have huge flat decks. As oil rigs are decommissioned, they become available for repurposing. In 2020, SpaceX bought two rigs, Phobos and Deimos, for a fraction of the cost of building new platforms. Their semi-submersible design provides the stability needed for rocket landings and catch towers. Converting these rigs is faster and cheaper than building from scratch. The decks can be reinforced for rocket landings and fitted with Mechazilla arms. These rigs could even house propellant storage, becoming self-contained spaceports. It's classic SpaceX adapt existing tech, move fast, and save money. Phobos and Deimos are now key to Starship's offshore future. Offshore launches offer more than just safety for ground infrastructure. Noise from Starship's engines is immense. Offshore platforms keep it far from communities and wildlife. The ocean acts as a natural sound buffer, solving regulatory headaches. Safety is paramount. Any mishap at sea poses no risk to people or property. Offshore sites allow for more aggressive testing and faster iteration. These platforms are mobile, enabling optimal launch trajectories for different missions. A platform on the equator, for example, maximizes efficiency for interplanetary flights. Operating in international waters could bypass many land-based constraints, allowing higher launch frequency. This flexibility is crucial for SpaceX's vision of daily Starship launches. Offshore spaceports are essential for Mars ambitions and high-cadence operations. They're the backbone of SpaceX's next era. Offshore platforms aren't just for Mars, they're the foundation for point-to-point -point travel on Earth. Imagine a starship launching from a floating platform near New York, landing near Shanghai in under an hour. Traditional launch sites can't be built near cities, but offshore rigs solve noise and safety issues. Phobos and Deimos are prototypes for a global network of floating spaceports. SpaceX's rivals like Blue Origin lag far behind in reusability and flight rate, SpaceX's willingness to innovate and take risks has given it a massive lead. Converting oil rigs is a strategic masterstroke, solving immediate challenges and enabling future ambitions. These platforms pave the way for Mars colonization and ultra-fast global travel. By thinking outside the box, SpaceX cements its leadership in the new space race. Phobos and Deimos aren't just landing pads, they're stepping stones to humanity's future.